I'm Dr. Dharmendra Patel, Program Director for the Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship. We aim to educate the fellows to be a skilled clinician, but also help with their professional development. Our facilities and faculty have created this environment at Arlanger, which is highly conducive for advanced learning. My name is Abdul Razak Adeni, I'm a third year cardiology fellow. Uh, I was impressed by how um, knowledgeable and um, effective the physicians were. Um, uh, and I was really impressed by their commitment to education um, on rounds, on the floors. Um, we were seeing really sick patients and they were taking the time to still teach and educate the residents. And I just loved that sort of the environment and the setup. And, uh, and so I, it was just, it seemed like a match made in heaven for me. My name is Harish Manyam. I'm the Chief of Cardiology here at Erlanger Hospital. We actually have 12 cardiovascular fellows. Uh, for each year that are trained um, in general cardiology. Some of them choose to do structural cardiology, interventional cardiology, electrophysiology, and subspecialty imaging. And we've been uh, very successful in placing them into these subspecialty fields after they graduate. A large amount of that has to do with the complex disease process that they see here and the great education and training they get from our cardiovascular faculty here. So my name is Diana Alvarez. I am a second year cardiology fellow. So I would say that one of the strengths of this program is basically that you do become a very strong clinical cardiologist. When you graduate from here, you should be able to handle a wide spectrum of pathologies without any, any, any problems. We get plenty of exposure here. My name is Rafe Khan. I am currently the Chief Cardiology Fellow at UT Erlanger. A lot of things drew me to the program, especially during my interview um, about three years ago. You know, first and foremost, um, what I gauge during residency and what I'm gauging during fellowship is how well you can approach the attendings. And here the attendings are very, very approachable, especially during the middle of the night, during calls, um, during interventional, during certain procedures, they're very open to teaching. Um, and they're very easily reachable. And I think that's a, you know, an importance, especially in a field as challenging as cardiology. Most of the internal medicine residents have focused on cardiology early in their career. So the transition from internal medicine to cardiology is a little bit easier. However, it can still be very overwhelming. Keeping this in mind, our program is structured such that it allows a very easier transition from internal medicine to cardiology. The steps include taking no calls at night during uh, first two months of fellowship, no inpatient cardiology early on, uh, special training in hands-on echocardiography, and also the bootcamp series of lectures which prepares them for uh, rigors of night calls as well as the inpatient cardiology. Uh, my name is Joseph Pinley. Um, I grew up in Chattanooga. Um, I'm a second year cardiology fellow. For me, uh, the work-life balance here um, was a huge draw uh, coming in, and it still is. Um, I am a father and a husband, and, and those are you know as important as anything else I do. Um, so I wanted to work at a place that was not going to um, just be like a, a terrible work environment. Um, and so this has proven to be a very good work environment. Um, I like that. And then we're taking care of patients and so not losing sight of actually having good outcomes um, and just taking good care of people that come in. Um, so those are two huge things that, that I think we do very, very well here. So. I'm Josh Davis. I'm a second year cardiology fellow. I'd never been to Chattanooga until the day of my interview. Um, I brought my wife and kids with me and they love the city and uh, I love the hospital. I love the people that I interviewed with and talked to and so that's kind of what made the decision uh, to come here. Uh, for me and my wife and I've got two young kids that are both like four and two-ish years old. Uh, there's a world-class aquarium there's the zoo, we're members at both, and they go probably once a week to both of them. Uh, for our family, we know we get out and hike. We hiked two and a half miles up Lookout Mountain this past Sunday, and you know, it's, it's beautiful weather, and um, there's just a ton of stuff to do. And the river, there's mountains, river, lakes, there's something for everybody here. And I feel like that it's nice to be able to stay active and get out and do things. Mm -hmm.